Come on, Annie, where's my breakfast? We're going to be late for work if we don't get a shift on. It's a downright disgrace, the way these women treat us. Do you know, lads, we must have been sat here waiting for all the 30 seconds. Well, uh, what can you expect with two women in the same kitchen? Oh, horrifying sight, lads. Almost as gruesome as watching heavyweight fight between Jack Baldell and Danny McAlinden. I still bet Danny McAlinden can cut dinner bread than what Annie does, even with his boxing gloves on. True, lad. <laughs> Very true. What's to do with you? You sound as miserable as sin. I am. Boredom, is it? Oh, no, I like boredom. It helps fill in time between meals. <laughs> Well, what's brassing me off is being stuck alone in house all day with two women. And I served all through First World War, lad. I was trapped in no man's land for two nights solid. But never, never did I hear the like of the vicious crossfire and the sniping what you get here. You want to sit under the stairs. That's what we did in the Blitz. I think the mice appreciated the company. By all, lad, I envy you and Carter. Why? Going out to work every morning. Think what you've got to look forward to. Filth, squalor, misery. And what faces me here? Cleanliness, tidiness and regular meals. Well, you try to be reasonable at face of adversity. You try to look grateful and considerate. But about time and all, we're bloody near famished here. <laughs> right then, get stuck into that little lot. And listen to me, Armort. If bacon's too hot, no fun in it with your cat. We don't want Dan to win marmalade again. Hey, yo, look at that lot. Bacon, sausage, liver, kidney, tin tomatoes, fried bread and three fried eggs. Typical, isn't it? She'd forgot the black pudding again. <laughs> you know, a man could starve to death in his own home for all she care. Yeah. <coughs> Where's my breakfast got to, then? Oh, uh, yeah, well, Carter love... Uh... Uh, Pat wanted to prepare it for yourself. Why? Oh, she's got to practice the cooking on somebody. It's true. <laughs> when I was first married to Edna, I used to wait while she'd gone out at room and I'd give all her cooking to the dog. What happened to it? It ran away. <laughs> Bobby's found it three weeks later. When I went to Station Pound to collect it, barked its bloody head off. <laughs> It wagged its tail, it, it jumped up at me, it looked at me with them great big brown pleading eyes. <laughs> I hadn't the art to fetch it home. <laughs> What's this then? Norwegian rye bread, dried figs and wheat germ souffle. It's true that he's a working lad, but not a retired pit pony. <laughs> It's not a plate he needs for that lot. It's more like a bloody nose bag. It's supposed to be very good for the blood. Never mind his blood. What about his belly? Yeah. <laughs> I think so too, Pat. I don't want to interfere, love, but you see, Carter's always been used to a cooked breakfast, especially in the mornings, love. Mm. Well, now he's married to me, you'll have to get unused to it, won't you? It is far too much eating, does Carter? No wonder his back's all spotty and he's got bags under his eyes. He ain't got bags under his eyes. When I handed him over to you on his wedding day, he was in perfect condition. <laughs> Told you you should have got a receipt for him. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely he would damage the transit. Oh, pink that morning, his eyes were shining and his hair was glowing. Just like our Ooh. dog, and look what happened to him. <laughs> hey, up, Carter. You've not been burying bones in the back garden, have you? Don't talk empty, Mort. If we had a bone now, we'd be up mat with it, sucking it to bloody marrow. Do you mind, Carter? What's up, then? Reading at the table. It's very rude. Men in this family always read at the table. How else can they avoid having to talk to the women? <laughs> I happen to want to talk to Carter about a very important subject that can affect the whole of our future lives together. Well, I didn't know she were interested in pub dominoes, Les. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to want to talk to Carter about our new house. Oh, smashing, Pat. Tell us all about it. Is it nice or is it the sort that men like? Oh, that's a dream, Mrs Brandon. Oh. How can I put it? It's... Well, it's... Right contemporary, mm. in an up-to-date sort of oh. way. 
It's got this lounge diner where you can have your tea and criticise your neighbour's washing in privacy. Oh. And there's this uh, bathroom with a low-level flush and integral shower. Shower? I can't abide showers. Oh, why not? Because you can't do things in a shower what you can do in a bath. <laughs> Personal things. What sort of personal things can you do in a bath that you can't do in a shower? Well, for a start off, you can keep your cap on while you cut your toenails. <laughs> you can play submarines with your loofah and dive bomb it with your pommy stone. Ah, 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 ah.